Naruto, 10 Best Friendships of the Series, Ranked Many strong bonds of friendship humanize the story of Naruto, but which friendships are the most touching or consequential to the story? The story of Naruto is packed with classic shonen lessons. Storylines and fight scenes, and that includes the power of friendship. In this series, in addition to mighty summoning jutsu and forbidden techniques, clever ninjutsu and cunning traps help define the combat system. But the best ninja are motivated to protect their friends from all harm. Indeed, many of Naruto's best and strongest characters fight with their friends and fellow villagers in mind. And some characters are also driven to impress their teachers or to protect their students from foes such as the Akatsuki organization and other rogues. Some friendships even form between master and student. But those relationships are mainly professional. Which other friendships helped define the original Naruto slash Shippuden franchise? 10. Deidara slash Tobi the dynamic Akatsuki duo. This friendship was a superficial one, since the persona, Tobi, was a cover for Abito Uchiha, who later tried to pass himself off as Madara Uchiha as well. When he first appeared, though, Tobi, was the fun-loving replacement for Sasori the puppet master, who had fallen in battle. Deidara could hardly believe that this fellow was his new partner. But all these same, they struck up a mild friendship during their adventures together, and this added a bit of humor to the otherwise terrifying Akatsuki organization. It was a shame they had to part ways. 9. Naruto Uzumaki slash Iraka Yumino, once teacher student. For a time, Naruto Uzumaki and his academy teacher, Iraka Yumino, had a professional relationship. Once Naruto graduated from the academy, he began a more genuine friendship with Iruka as a fellow ninja. By the time Naruto Shippuden began, Naruto and Iruka were best buds rather than master and student. Iruka personally related to Naruto. Since he lost his parents to the nine-tailed fox and was largely ostracized, Iruka risked his life to protect Naruto from the scheming Mizuki, and this greatly inspired Naruto as a budding ninja. 8. Jiraiya slash Tsunade, Two Fellow Sanin Often, these two elder ninja clashed over their differing personalities, usually with Lady Tsunade fuming at her peer Jiraiya the Toad Sage for being a total pervert. Still, these two Sanin greatly trust and respect one another, and at one point, Jiraiya was actually Tsunade's lover. It didn't pan out, though. Now, Tsunade and Jiraiya have a platonic but solid relationship. And Tsunade was greatly cheered up when Jiraiya introduced her to the optimistic Naruto Uzumaki. Tsunade and Jiraiya always had each other's backs against Orochimaru the snake ninja and the Akatsuki until Jiraiya was eventually Kia. 7. Naruto Uzumaki slash Sai, Uneasy Teammates at First Partway through Naruto Shippuden, the missing slot of Team 7 was filled at last, with the pale and slightly awkward ninja named Sai. Who could summon ink animals with scrolls? At first, Sai thought little of the impulsive Naruto and mocked him more than once. That changed over time, though, and Naruto and Sai learned to trust and respect one another as true teammates and friends. Eventually, when Karui tried to beat Sasuke Uchiha's location out of Naruto, Sai intervened, unwilling to let his friends suffer on Sasuke's account. 6. Shikamaru Nara slash Choji Akimichi slash Ino Yamanaka, aka Ino Shikicho. This three-way friendship is at the core of Team 10, led by the Jonin Asuma Sarutobi. These three ninja form a balanced team. With Choji Akimichi being the muscle, Ino Yamanaka being the support and Shikamaru being both a supporting fighter and the strategist. These three are famed for their Ino Shikicho formation. Named after themselves and a reference to the Japanese card game Koi Koi, and they also get along great as good friends.
In particular, Shikamaru and Choji were excellent friends at the academy and often got into trouble together. Those were the good old days. 5. Hashirama Senju slash Madara Uchiha, who made history together. This historic friendship predated the Hidden Leaf Village itself. A few generations ago, the world was an especially blood-soaked place. Divided into countless feuding ninja clans who even sent children into battle. Hashirama Senju, who could perform wood release, didn't like this situation. Neither did Madara Achiha. These ninja were enemies on paper, but both boys soon became friends and met in secret so their feuding families wouldn't find out. Later, as men, they brokered a truce between the Senju and Uchiha clans and founded the Hidden Leaf Village. Tragically, these friends, and their respective families, would later become enemies once again. 4. Kakashi Hitaki slash Abito Uchiha, who shared the Sharingan Eye. Over ten years ago, Minato Namikes was the commander of a three ninja team made up of Rin, Kakashi Hitaki, and Abito Uchiha. Abito was the weakest link for a time, and he was scorned for his friends before duty attitude. Eventually, though, Kakashi started to see things Abito's way. Abito was crushed under a boulder. But before Kakashi left, Abito gave him a Sharingan eye, and Kakashi mourned the death of his friend for years after that. Much later, they met again as enemies during the Fourth Great Shinobi War. But in the end, they became allies once again. Friendships aren't so easily broken by betrayal or time. 3. Kakashi Hitaki slash Might Guy, the Eternal Rivals Abito isn't Kakashi's only friend. Later on, the Taijutsu-loving Might Guy became Kakashi's sworn rival, and both ninja began to compete fiercely. With Might Guy having the most enthusiasm for this rivalry. Kakashi one-upped him with the development of his own jutsu, the Raikiri, or Lightning Blade. Might Guy couldn't make a Lightning Blade. So he made up for it in other ways, and never stopped challenging Kakashi to any contest he could think of. In the present day, both Jonin are good friends and have fine chemistry. And they clearly respect each other a great deal. 3. Kakashi Hitaki slash Might Guy, The Eternal Rivals Abito isn't Kakashi's only friend. Later on, the Taijutsu-loving Might Guy became Kakashi's sworn rival, and both ninja began to compete fiercely. With Might Guy having the most enthusiasm for this rivalry, Kakashi one-upped him with the development of his own jutsu, the Raikiri, or Lightning Blade. Might Guy couldn't make a Lightning Blade. So he made up for it in other ways, and never stopped challenging Kakashi to any contest he could think of. In the present day, both Jonin are good friends and have fine chemistry. And they clearly respect each other a great deal. 1. Naruto Uzumaki slash Gara of the Sand, alone together. This relationship is a classic for many reasons. At first, a friendship between Naruto and Gara of the Sand seemed downright impossible. Sasuke may have been a self-absorbed genius, but he was at least a part of Naruto's village and team. Gara, meanwhile, was a bitter and lonely killer from the hidden sand village. And he and Naruto fought during Operation Kanoha Crush. However, these two boys have far too much in common to be enemies. They understand each other's pain of being alone and hated. At last, Gara had met someone who could connect with him on every level. Gara reformed himself and became a noble hero, inspired by Naruto's example. Gara later became Kazakage at age 15 or so. And he and Naruto personally forged strong bonds between the leaf and sand villages. <laughs>